what I'd like to do is show you guys how to find the distance between two points. So uh, what we have here is a uh, Cartesian coordinate plane and uh, pretty much an x and y axis. Here's our y, there's our x. And what we need to do is we need to find the distance between the two points. So um, there is a formula that we can use and there also is another graphical way that we can use uh, for this problem. So uh, the first way is I need you guys to understand a couple things about a coordinate plane. First thing is, you know, we know that we have an x and a y coordinate. And actually for this problem, we have two x and y coordinates. So a lot of times when, you're, when we're going to use the algebraic method, they're going to talk about x1, x2, y1, y2. So what they mean is they just need a way to differentiate between x, this point, and this point. So I'm going to label this one x1, y, x1, y1, and I'll label this one x2, y2. And they're just little subscripts. Like I said, guys, they're just different ways for us to label. Here's x, x if I say where's x, you say, well, this one or that one. So it's a way for us to distinguish between the two. So the first way is, um, let's look at actually, if I want to find the distance between these two, I haven't used this yet, so let's try it out. That didn't work. So if I want to find the direct distance, right, between two points, the shortest distance between them, uh, there's a couple things that I need to know that's happening. First of all, to get from this point to this point, I am going over to the right, and I'm also going down. So to figure out how far I'm going over, we can count our units. So one thing we can do is we can kind of make a triangle. How far did I go over? Well, from here I went over one, two, three, four, five units. So I went over five units, and then I also I went down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight units. And <clears throat> now I created, by going horizontally and vertically, I created a right angle. And for those of you that have you know been involved with geometry, uh, what you can say is, what you can see is now what I've done, whenever you have a right angle you can always use the Pythagorean theorem to help you derive what the hypotenuse is going to be. So therefore I can say c squared equals the square root of 5 squared plus 8 squared. Now we're going to go ahead and do something like this figure, but um, a squared plus b squared equals c squared, right? Maybe I'm sorry, not c, you're right. A squared, c squared equals a squared plus b squared, so let's call this a and this b, a squared plus b squared equals c squared, right? So I'm just going to leave this right here for a second. The distance formula is written like this. The square root of x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. So if I was to now plug in my points for these two, uh, I know x1 is negative 3 minus x2, or I'm sorry, I'm going to do y2, y, x1, right? I said this was x2. x2 is 2 minus a negative 3, which would be minus negative 3. And it doesn't matter, like I said, guys, I just made the mistake, but it doesn't matter which one. These could have been x1s, these could be x2s. It does not matter. So 2 minus a negative 3 squared plus y2, which is a negative 4 minus y1, which is 4. Okay. 2 minus a negative 3 gives you 5. Plus, negative 4 uh, minus 8 is going to give you a negative 8 squared. Well, if you guys look at it, these are very eerily similar, right? Well, how do I solve, how do I get rid of the c squared? I'm going to have to take the square root. So c is actually equal to the square root of 5 squared plus 8 squared. And what's happening here is I got a negative, but that's okay because I'm going to be squaring it anyways. So d equals the square root of, let's see, 25 plus, you know, 64. And so d equals the square root of... Uh, 
86. I'm sorry, 89. Square root of 89, same thing here. C is going to equal the square root of 89. So, you know, what you guys can see from this is that your distance formula is the exact same finding of, you know, your sides of a right triangle. So, when I want to find the distance between any two points, I can, one, use horizontal and vertical lines to make a right triangle, then I can use the Pythagorean theorem, or I can also plug it into this handy formula, but before I do that, I need to know, I need to determine what are my x1 and what are my x2, what is my y1 and which is my y2. So you just need to figure that out, you plug them in, and then you evaluate um, your equation. So I get my final distance to be d equals square root of 89, which, since it's a radical, I'm just going to leave it um, in that form. So there you go.